All right, all my fellow pinballers. Today, I'm gonna show you essentially what is uh, my new builder's kit. So it comes with kind of everything all in one that you need to put together all your feedback inside of a virtual pinball system. And some of the things I have plugged in, I'm gonna show you kind of how to hook it all up. Uh, but what you have that comes with this kit is the main board right here. This is kind of the, the controller that controls everything going on power supply uh, and then plugged out coming out of this main board is a ribbon cable that goes to one of the expansion boards and then this expansion board has another ribbon cable coming out and going to the second expansion board and each of these expansion boards adds another this one adds 21 outputs this one adds another 16 outputs and then on this main board is 12 outputs and I'll show you that in a minute this main board will basically uh, be powering all the solenoids over here and over here, as well as the shaker motor, which is right here. And uh, this expansion board has a ribbon cable coming out of it going to the light bar. And then this expansion board has a ribbon cable coming out of it, which uh, powers all the LEDs for your buttons. Okay. And then coming out of this main 12 position board, you can hook this up a, a couple of different ways, but I recently just added the ability to connect a ribbon cable right out of the 12 position board into the button board so you can have all these 14 button inputs uh, you know, directly wired in so you don't have to run any, any wires to it. Okay, So you've got your main board, two expansion boards, you've got your light bar, you've got your shaker motor, you've got your button board with all the button hookups. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. And then you've got 10 solenoids come with this kit. You've got a plunger. You've got all your buttons all wired and ready to be plugged in. You've got uh, eight of these colored LED buttons and then four of the RGB buttons that you can use however you like. So it really is a, uh, a full kit. Everything that you need in a, in a uh, virtual pinball setup to get you started. It's, it's really like, you know, the best, kind of the best experience you can have uh, for the least amount of money. You can always get more toys and add them on later. And of course, the, you're not limited at all here. You've got, uh, after even with this kit installed, you still have these five ports available. You still have an initial one port on, on this board available as well. And these are really flexible outputs that you can that you can use. I recently on the expansion board, I added inputs for power here. So you can separately power these five inputs. Three of them can be on a different power supply and these two can be on a different power supply. And it makes it really easy to hook up like a 24 volt power supply. The nice part about this kit though is that everything in this kit is 12 volts. So I have I have 12 volt buttons, uh, 12 volt solenoids. So you only need one power supply to run everything. So it makes the system uh, just really simple to, to hook everything up to it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get started just by showing you uh, first I'll show you how things plug in. Um, I obviously do have some ribbon cables already plugged in, but if you look at these, you can kind of get an idea for how they plug in. You've got some coming in, and then this, these ribbon cables go out to your flippers and your other side of flippers. So what you do is on your cabinet, you might put this board on the front of the cabinet right here, and that way you have really easy access to plug all the buttons into that would be typically on the front of your cabinet or on maybe on the top of your cabinet. And then these guys kind of fan out a little bit because they're going to be closer. You can mount them like this or mount them like this to uh, hook up your your plunger, or not your plunger, your uh, flipper buttons. And same on the other side. It kind of fans out to the other side. It just keeps everything really neat and tidy in the cabinet and a lot easier to access too. I've seen, uh, that was my, when I was first putting this thing together, uh, buttons was such a disaster because there's all those wires you got to hook up, especially if you try and do if you're trying to run LEDs and stuff to them, it gets really complicated really fast. So this kind of consolidates it, puts it into one place, and still lets you run LEDs to them. Um, so I'll start with, uh, let's just start with the solenoids. So uh, out of the box, you'll get these sets of solenoids right here. And it's, like I said, very easy to hook them up. All you gotta do is just plug them into the board. And you'll see on the board, there's some labels here, uh, plus one and two, three, four, and five. And so you plug that guy in there. And then I've got the other two solenoids here that are paired, and you plug that in here. And you'll see that 
these solenoids are set up so that you can kind of put them in your cabinet a lot of different ways. Um, but typically you'll have these guys running your uh, flipper and your slings and kind of mounted on the side of your cabinet like this. And then these ones can go across your cabinet. You can either put it underneath or like this on the side, or I've even seen people put it just right on the floor of the cabinet. But these would be like your mids, and then the other three over there would be your backs, okay? Now obviously you can mount these any way you like, uh, but to have the most realistic experience, that's how you do it. However, you could still, you know, you could set them up like this. If you just want to mount them on the side of your cabinet to make it easier to mount everything, then you can definitely do that. So those guys plug in on this side. And then I'll just plug in the other ones too. So again, you've got six and seven right here. And then you've got eight, nine, and 10. So you plug that guy in. And now all my solenoids are hooked up and I can actually show you in uh, Pinscape, the Pinscape config tool, how you can actually test those. So when you're in the home menu, it'll look like this and you'll have outputs and everything. And by the way, the, the uh, board will already be pre-configured. So everything will be set up so that all you have to do really is just open this, this menu up and you'll be ready to go. So when you open up the tool, you'll see you've got your outputs and we can really easily just start testing these. And you can see when I test one, the red LED kind of comes on, on the transistor that's, that it's powering. And then of course the solenoid clicks. So you can see I can test, I can run through all my, all the way up to number 10 and number 10 works too, so that's great. So all my solenoids are good. The next thing is the shaker motor. So again, that's just gonna be another plug. And that plug is right here. It's the one that's labeled plus and uh, 11 and 12. So it'll plug in there and then your shaker motor is ready to go. This little knob here will adjust the intensity of the shaker motor. And if I turn that on now, you'll see it yeah, wants to take off running. Um, but if I turn that all the way up, it's pretty low right now, it would go crazy. So that's your shaker. So you've got all your 10 solenoids hooked up, you've got your shaker hooked up, and of course you can route these wires however you want inside your cabinet to make it look kind of clean. Uh, <clears throat> but you can see how easy it is to, to keep things pretty clean anyway. Because everything is either a ribbon cable or pretty clean, you know, one set of wires going up there. <clears throat> so we've got all those guys hooked up and now let's test our light bar. So for our light bar, it's kind of the same thing. You can see we've got it hooked up to the first expansion board. And on your Pinscape tool, you'll see it kind of goes from the KLZ connections to this TLC board. And this is what controls the light bar. So these other five here, 13 through uh, 17, are still expansion board outputs, but it's just the 21 board. So you can see there's some additional outputs you get there. And you can turn those on and see the LEDs coming on as I test them in this board. But once I get to the TLC board and I start testing that one, you'll see my red LED turn on on the light bar. And then the next one is the uh, blue and the, or sorry, the, uh, yeah. <clears throat> next one is the green. It kind of looks blue from up here, but it actually is green. <laughs> Even when I'm looking at the camera and it looks, it looks blue, but when I look at the light, it's like, oh, that's definitely green. So it's just an artifact of the camera, I believe. Uh, but anyway, and then the next one, red, green, and blue, and so on and so forth. All the way up to the very last LED, and you'll see that is outputs, whoops, that's outputs 30, 31, and 32. And then that's it for the, <coughs> that's it for the light bar. So you'll see that the light bar is essentially controlled by uh, the second or the first TLC chip and you can see it says TLC number one and then you get into the number two TLC okay and that one is going to control all your buttons okay so I'm going to show you real quickly how you hook those up it's pretty simple you'll get a batch of these oh, let's see here let me get these guys 
guys untangled a little bit. These are the LED buttons, and you can tell they're the LED, the RGB LED buttons because there's a lot of wires coming out of them. And on these little button boards, for the flippers, you'll see there's resistors, and those resistors allow you to plug in the RGB LED. And there's a very small writing, but you can see there's, let's see if I can see this on the camera. It's like plus, then R, then G, then B. And it corresponds to the colors on the wire. You've got your plus is the yellow, then the red is your R, or yeah, the red is your R, and the, G, the green is your G, and the blue is your B. So it kind of makes sense based on there. There's one more pin on there, you'll notice, and it's labeled J. That's actually a jumper pin. If you put a jumper across that J and the next terminal next to it, then it'll jumper past these resistors so you can hook up a standard uh, a standard uh, button to it if you don't want to have an RGB button hooked up to it. So it allows for that in case you want it to do that. And then of course you have your button input too. So I'll show you one of those RGBs and that's hooked up to number one. So I should, when I turn this on you can see, yep, it's turning red. And then that's your green which looks blue on this camera. And then your actual blue. It's really funny how that looks on the camera. It looks so blue. <laughs> but yeah, so now your RGB is working and you can see that button's hooked up. And you can do that, you know, you've got your other, your other button or you want to hook that one up. It's also very simple. You just simply plug this terminal right into the button terminal here. That's the, sorry, that's one for RGB and then your button terminal right there. And now my other RGB is also hooked up. So pretty simple to hook up, and you can see how many wires that is. Uh, and that's where this, this kit is so nice, is that you don't have to do any wiring or anything. You just plug it in, and you're good to go. Same with these buttons. So, you know, I'll just do three of these. But it's got four wires, two for the, uh, two for the LED and two for the button itself. And this breakout board just makes it so easy, because all i got to do is just plug it in. And, oh, I want to do button six. Okay, plug it in. Button seven, yep, just plug it in. And so now I've got my buttons here. And the wires don't have to be super long because this can be mounted right on the front of your cabinet and these can easily reach pretty much any location back and forth around your cabinet there. So it just makes it really straightforward and easy to hook up all your buttons for your cabinet. And once again, these can be tested. And let's see, I did uh, one, I'll just show you. So the first three are for the left and right flippers. The next three are going to be for your uh, left, uh, not your flipter, but your magna save, and then your right magna save, one, two, three. And then start going to the buttons. And yep, I just turned that one on, and you see the button just turned on. And it's this guy right here, which is the one furthest left. So yeah, as I turn these guys on, you'll see the, the buttons actually turn on. Okay, so those are all working, so that's great. And so basically now uh, we've proved that all of our outputs are working. And again, on the expansion board, you can kind of see, kind of tells you which output is enabled as well. So you kind of get an idea of, okay, that output's enabled and that button's turned on. Okay, we're all good. <laughs> so you can kind of get an idea for, okay, that's how you hook everything up. And you can see kind of now how easy it is to take this kit out of the box and hook it up inside your cabinet. Okay, so it's just essentially just mounting everything and plugging everything in, and you're good to go. <clears throat> so the next thing you got to look at is your buttons, and this should be pretty straightforward. You can see all your button inputs are there, and as I click these buttons, you're going to see that the appropriate button turns on. I'll do the flipper buttons. Yep. So you see they're all turning on. And just so you know, these are all... All these buttons are leaf buttons, so very nice, super fast response. I can, you can see I can flick that thing on and off as fast as I can possibly do it with my finger. There's no delay or anything like that. <clears throat> uh, so the next thing, buttons are pretty easy. And the very last thing is the plunger. So this kit also comes with a plunger, and I've got my plunger here. And again, there's a cable for the plunger right here. And there's my plunger, okay? And all i got to do is just plug that guy in down here 
And as soon as I do that, you'll see the plunger is at a good state. And as I pull it, it goes ahead and you know flips back for it. And so that's that's what I'm doing on the plunger, and that's what's happening on the board there. So plunger also very easy to hook up. All you got to do is just unscrew these three screws, put it inside your cabinet, mount it, and you're good to go. And that's pretty much everything. I mean, the light bar, it comes with plenty of cable length. It's a two meter cable. So you can put it on top of your cabinet or you can put it on the front of your cabinet and in the front where, where the play field is. And, uh, you know, they are pretty bright, so I kind of like them on the top. But everyone, you know, a lot of people put them on the, on the front too. And I think that's, that's pretty much everything though. You can see it comes with the mounting hardware for everything too. So like the shaker motor, you get some mounting screws for it. All these buttons, you'll get the, the rings that mount them onto the cabinet. You get mounting hardware to, to secure these things down under your cabinet ground. And uh, all the ribbon cables, everything's included. So there's literally nothing else to purchase, and you're, you're completely ready to go after that. The last thing you need to do is actually set up DOF to work with this thing. And I think I'll show that in a different video. So hope you guys like this, and hope it shows you kind of how to hook everything up to your to your system and until next time i'll see you check me out at clevelandsoffordesign.com